It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about why I don't recommend the Canon EOS R for sports photography. I look at my stats and I can see about 90% of the people are not subscribed to the channel. So if you're watching this, subscribe. Now in my recent video, I talked about the Canon EOS R in 2021 and would I recommend it as a full frame mirrorless camera at the entry level in 2021? And I said, yes. Uh, except for video, I said yes, and except for sports photography. This video is to talk about why I don't recommend it for sports photography. You're a beautiful person and a good person, and if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. I am here in downtown Pomona. You can see the Pomona train, uh, the bridge over the train tracks where the Metrolink comes and stops. And yesterday here in this, uh, I think it's called the Sean Diamond Plaza. This is where the cycling group that I'm a part of uh, meets. And this is where hundreds of people gathered for the Pomona 5K and 10K. We're out here shooting the Pomona 5K. And two ESRs, 24 to 70 and 70 to... It was the fifth, the fifth annual event and uh, it was cool to see the community come out. People came from all over La Puente and uh, Chino and, and, and all over. We had high schoolers, we had uh, older uh, people. People walked, people ran. It was a great event. I loved this event. Now, I was there to be there as a volunteer photographer to give the images that I captured over to the committee that organized it and I was happy to do so. I was happy to be a part of this event. But here's the thing, my Canon R5 was in the shop and uh, I was getting an HDMI port that was broken, repaired, and I didn't have the camera of choice, so I used the Canon EOS R for sports photography, which I said is something I wouldn't recommend. So here's my honest reflections on yesterday, how I felt. That crow is really loud. This video is for my honest reflections about how I felt the Canon EOS R did for sports photography. Let's get into it. Now, I'm here at the scene of the, uh, the 5K that I shot yesterday with the Canon EOS Rs, one with the RF 70 to 200, that's this one, and one with the RF 24 to 70. I feel like the Canon R is, um, it's a good, no, it's a great event photography camera. It is amazing. I would trust it for every birthday party, every wedding reception, um, every event that I have to shoot, a corporate event, whatever it is. For event photography, it's, it's great. I love it. But for sports photography, sports requires something uh, that it's hard to define the difference between event photography and sports photography and not sound um, a little bit lame. The amount of quick stop motion you have to capture. Like I was shooting when I was shooting on the RF uh, 70 to 200, I was shooting uh, high speed continuous and my shutter speed was one over 1250 most of the time. Now honestly, there's, there's really only a couple of things that I can tell you why I wouldn't recommend the Canon EOS R for sports photography. One, it just doesn't feel quick enough. The autofocus doesn't feel responsive enough. It doesn't feel like it locks on. Uh, and gets those key moments. Now, I shot with two lenses, the RF 24 to 70 and the RF 70 to 200, and I thought the RF 70 to 200 was passable. That lens made this camera work for sports photography, and I could actually uh, see myself using it and recommending it. But <laughs> you have to have a, a $2,500, $2,900 lens. But the other thing is uh, the quality of the images that I got were acceptable um, on a professional level with the RF 70 to 200. But I didn't feel like the 24 to 70 really was, and, and maybe this is not about the camera, but this lens, the 24 to 70, I, I wouldn't buy it. Uh, I have this on loan, I probably would not buy it, wouldn't recommend it. Uh, and that is a key lens for event photography. Um, I'd rather use the, the 50, the 35, um, or the 15 to 35 is a great lens, but um, the 70 to 200 produced good results in terms of when I reviewed the uh, images in my computer, I was happy with them. Now, the other thing to talk about is this battery grip makes all the difference. This battery grip is super comfortable and I would not shoot sports photography without it. Uh, I had to replace the batteries in this camera um, because I shot with this one so much. And so having this uh, battery grip made it easy. I took one break, popped two batteries in, 
and I was off and running. And so I would highly recommend using the battery grip. That's a must for sports photography for me, unless it's a 15 minute game. Uh, but most sporting events are, you know, an hour or more. And uh, so you, uh, I would say use the battery grip. The other thing is I filled up the card and so I had to replace the card too. And so that was an inconvenience as well. Now, if you're shooting with R5, you have two cards. Um, that's, that's something that'll, that'll help you. So uh, I, I wouldn't recommend it for sports photography because I'm shooting high speed continuous. There's one card. Um, without the battery grip, I would not recommend it. So those are my thoughts. All right, so the other thing about recommending the Canon EOS R uh, for sports photography is that sometimes I felt like it just, it's not, I'm not sure that the autofocus wasn't fast enough. Is Sometimes it would fire off and it would grab a shot for me, but there was no clear focal point. Like I would scan the image and look for, okay, where did it lock on? And it, and it didn't. And maybe that's a setting I need to adjust in here is, is to prioritize focus over the shutter so that it'll only fire once sh shutter has, uh, or once focus has been locked on. But I was really um, disappointed in several of the images. Now, granted, I'll say it again, that was not the, I'm pointing over there, the RF 70 to 200 is over there. That was not the RF 70 to 200. That was the 24 to 70 most of the time. Uh, didn't produce the images I went, didn't grab focus when I wanted. It's hard to recommend a camera if you have to have only one certain lens to use it with. I'm not sure how I feel about that. The R5 with any lens would outperform the EOS R and it's priced to do so. Um, now for Little League, for things like that, I think it would be okay. I would definitely say get the RF 70 to 200 or get the EF 70 to 200 with the adapter. I've used that and it's been great. It's been great. So. Um, here we even have the uh, remainder of the, uh, the 5K signs up here. So it was a cool event to be a part of. I'm glad I could help out. I'm bummed I didn't have my Canon R5. Um, the EOS R got me through it, but that's not quite the feeling that I want when I'm shooting a sports event or something for a client. I don't want to feel like I just got through it. Uh, I want to feel like I excelled and the images would blow everyone away. I want every single image, every single frame to capture exactly what I'm seeing. And I just, I just felt like the Canon R is a good workhorse, but I wouldn't choose it for sports photography. Now again, battery grip, definitely recommend that. Um, camera straps, hate them, wish they would burn in hell. Oop, that was a, uh, that was a, uh, it's kind of aggressive there. Um, but the, the battery grip is ergonomically good. Battery life is good. SD card slot, only one for sports photography. If you're shooting high speed continuous, that fills up quick. My final thoughts here on the Canon R is yes, it got me through. It was okay. But because of the one card slot, I wouldn't recommend it. If you're shooting sports photography on high speed continuous, that's going to fill up. Yes, you can shoot JPEG or a smaller file size, but I was choosing, shooting raw because I wanted the power to to take shots that I had taken from all during the day and change the white balance and, and make them feel like one consistent set. Um, I would definitely recommend the battery grip. That's something that you, I think you'll need for sports photography, which generally are events that last longer. And then the, the lens, the RF to 70 to 200 clearly outperformed the 24 to 70. Can't say it enough. And uh, this is, this is really it. I, I would do it again, but only if I had to, and that's not a strong recommendation. Uh, just uh, like this video, leave a comment, let me know if you're a sports shooter, if you do. Um, now I would shoot all day. I would shoot all day for events photography with the Canon R. I love it. Uh, but let me know if you're a sports photographer, if you're thinking about the Canon EOS R, and let me know if you have any questions. I hope this video has been useful to you. Please leave a comment. Let me know where in the world you're watching from. Leave me a like and subscribe subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. I look at my stats and I can see about 90% of the people are not subscribed to the channel. So if you're watching this, subscribe. Be a part of the conversation, the journey. Peace. The ergonomics and uh, the Canon R with the battery grip is simply amazing. Like I, I love the ergonomics. I'd rather, um, one of the things that, uh, I'm all over in this video, but one of the things that I hate are camera straps. And so I had camera straps on these. Um, I had them around my neck. I had them on my, at my waist, at my side, at my hip. Um, but I found throughout the event, I took off the camera strap from the 
the camera that I was using the most, I just walked around and carried it um, because it was so comfortable with this battery grip right there. It's hard to, it's hard to know that. I've made a video, I'll put it, link it up here. It's hard to know how important that is and what a benefit it really is. However, this video is about me not recommending uh, the Canon R. 